Close your eyes and watch your breath. Keep track of the breath all the way in, all the way out. Notice when you breathe in, where do you feel the breathing? Because it's not just air coming in and out of the lungs, it's the whole movement of the body, the rising and falling of the chest, the rising and falling of the abdomen, and the more subtle movements as well. So wherever you notice the feeling of the breath, let your attention settle right there. Try to see what rhythm of breathing feels good. You'll notice, of course, as you try to focus on the breath, that the mind keeps talking to itself. It's been talking to itself all, all morning since you woke up. Well, then talk to itself about the breath. Ask yourself, is the breath comfortable? What would be more comfortable? Deeper? More shallow? Heavier? Lighter? Faster? Slower? And then experiment. You learn by experimenting. This is how wisdom develops. Wisdom isn't just a matter of reading books and coming up with wise ideas. It's learning that your actions make a big difference in whether you're going to be experiencing pleasure in life or pain in life. And so you want to be very careful about your actions. And they start with simple things like this, simply how you breathe. We don't pay much attention to the breath normally, but here it is. It's the force that's keeping us, our life going. Without the breath, we would have died a long time ago. So it only stands to reason that this is the force of life, that if the breath flows smoothly through the body, it's going to be more conducive to life. It's going to be more conducive to health. When the body's in better condition, then the mind finds it easier to stay right here. It doesn't have to go running off all over the place. One of the hardest things for most people to do is just sit very quietly by themselves, and yet this gives you something to do while you're sitting very quietly by yourself. And to feel at home being here. You don't have to get involved in issues outside. You can just be with your breath coming in, going out, have a sense of ease with the breath coming in, going out. It gives the mind a good place to stay. And the conversations you have about the breath can keep you interested, because the, as you get to know the breath more and more, you find that there are lots of subtleties to the breathing energy. After all, you begin to feel energy flowing through the nerves, energy flowing through the blood vessels, out to every pore. And you can take advantage of that, allow the energy to flow smoothly everywhere. And that way you have a sense of being at home right here. When you're at home right here, then you can watch your mind. Because it's the mind that's making all the decisions. You want to be here while it's making those decisions to make sure it's making them well. Otherwise, it's like handing keys to your car over to a, a stranger. You don't know what the stranger's going to do. But here, if you're driving the car, you know now's the time to turn left, now's the time to turn right. You're there as the decisions are being made, and you make, sh make sure that they're being made well for the sake of your own happiness, for the sake of the happiness of others, now and on into the future. So try to get a sense of belonging right here, the sensation of the breathing coming in and going out right here in the present moment. Because when you stay here, you get to see a lot of things you never saw before. And you get some control over things that th used to be out of control. Those times when you do something and you wonder afterwards, well, why did you do that? Well, you can't really explain to yourself. It was just an urge. Well, if you're here, you can see clearly where the urge comes from, and you can recognize whether it's skillful or not. And if it's not skillful, you can let it go. You don't have to f flow along with it. You put mindfulness in charge. You put alertness in charge. And that way you can drive your car wherever you want to go.